Hafidei, my dear people of Guam, thank you for giving me a few moments of your time to talk with you about the realities our island faces today in our battle against COVID-19. Over the past several days, we have seen large numbers of new cases. Our clinics are strained, our hospitals are at capacity, and our ICU beds are nearing capacity. You have heard our governor and our medical professionals say over and over again that our healthcare system is fragile and that we must do everything we can to protect it so that when our people get sick, they can be cared for. After just a few short weeks of being back to school, we had to make the hard choice to suspend face-to-face -face learning from our students. This was a decision that no one wanted, but it was necessary to keep our kids safe, especially those who cannot be vaccinated. It was clear that with the spread in the community moving at such a rapid pace, the spread in schools would likewise increase and we needed to prevent that. To our students, we want to keep you safe and we are working hard to help you catch up with the time you have lost. We're working with more than 50 community organizations and some of our best educators to launch more than 70 programs designed to help you catch up. More online learning resources, more cultural and sports programs, and more opportunities for you to innovate are on the horizon. Please take advantage of our programs to provide MiFi devices to help you with your online learning. Your best interest is driving what we do, and we are working hard to help. Over the last year, we have been working tirelessly to provide safe havens for our students in need of help and protection. We have been pushing more resources into students' social and emotional health, using technology, community organizations, and advocates to intervene against suicide, substance abuse, and physical abuse. But there are many people that need help, and if you are worried about someone hurting themselves or being hurt, call our crisis hotline at 647-8833 or 8834. I want to thank our teachers, school administrators, and support staff, and our parents who are doing everything necessary to make the move to online learning so that we can continue to educate our students and keep them safe until we can bring them back to the classrooms. I want to assure you that the governor and I are doing everything we can to make sure that vaccination clinics continue for all school-based personnel and students that want to take advantage of them. We are working hard with public health and the schools to ensure that testing is available on a regular basis. And we are increasing our efforts to ensure that safety protocols are not only in place at all schools, but that they are constantly followed so that our families feel safe sending their children back to school. Our children have been asked to endure so much over the last 18 months, and I'm asking all of you to help stop the spread of the virus in whatever you can so that they can go back to school as safely and as soon as possible. Please, if you are able to, get vaccinated. If you have any questions about the safety of the vaccines, please ask your doctor or a trusted medical professional. Continue to wear your masks, even if you are vaccinated. Wash your hands often and practice social distancing. We have lost 150 of our people to COVID and we do not want to lose any more. During the past 18 months, I have seen our governor make tough decisions. A lot of times those decisions were not popular, but they were necessary and always with one thing in mind, protecting the health and lives of our people. Reasonable people can and will disagree, but we must always treat each other with respect as an island community, it is ingrained in us to strive to put the needs of our people before our personal convenience. It is our nature to protect each other, to be charitable, and to show compassion. We are a hopeful people who believe that things can and will get better if we pull together as we have done before. I know that we will get through this together. Thank you and Sidus Maasit.